Hey, very good afternoon to everyone. Uh, there was one important uh, aspect about the exam that I wanted to, you know, discuss with all of you. And I wanted to put forward my point of view and I would also love to hear your point of view about it. The examination, this exam particularly, was very different. And I would say the questions were not direct as you would have seen for the last six to seven years. If you analyze the last six, seven year examinations, like from 2014 onwards, if you try to analyze uh, the questions, the, the, the trend of the questions and the directness of the questions has been more or less intact. One odd paper might be there where the, you know, the, the concepts might be different, but direct questions used to come. Now this time. I think majority of the questions were not direct. The, the concept applied or the, you know, the way that the question had to be solved was maybe quite simple, but the uh, question was framed in a twisted manner. Now what that points out is that everybody now in this digitalized world has access to all the resources which were available to a select few students. Like for example, those who were going for coaching in Delhi, which is a major hub. Um, and you know in Hyderabad so earlier this resources these tricks so to say were only available or the, to the um, students who are going to coaching centers but now due to digitalization it's almost available to everyone okay so I feel that they, the examiners have realized this and not just for this particular examination but if you look into the other entrance exams also like for example IITJ and a couple of other entrance exams the questions that could have been solved directly earlier they were not solvable this particular time except for i think one exception was neat which was i think simpler but if you look at the rest of the questions that have happened in these couple of months uh, they all have been uh, quite different and difficult than the previous ones it is too early to call out a trend okay but as you can see um, like as you can see from the analysis also that i think if we have to look for a couple of more examinations that means the june exam and the december examination before we can call out the trend but i feel that now the examiners have realized that the uh, you know the so the so-called tricks is available to each and every student so now they are trying to really test out your concepts okay not just you know randomly copy pasting questions from the book as it was done earlier right Obviously, they might be referring to some resource. Uh, if you look into the uh, the questions from bio in organic chemistry, uh, the one uh, and a few questions from organic chemistry as well, they all were from directly from research articles or they were from books which are, uh, I would say, which are not commonly uh, studied by the aspirants for CSI net, the, like the kind of books we recommend. Uh, most of the questions were not that from that and the concept was to be applied. But the examples were not from those books. You know, most of also, uh, most of the examples I would say from were from the research articles. So this is something that I am observing that I think the examiners have also realized this fact, not just for this entrance examination, for the other entrance exams as well. And I feel over the years now in the coming coming examinations, they will be different and they will be conceptual. They would be testing your concepts, uh, or it could be the other way around as well, where you know this question, this exam was so called made for students who have studied the concepts well what i mean by that is for example generally i recommend that let's say if you're focusing more on organic and inorganic it's it's impossible i would say from my end to really know the concepts of each and every topic in organic inorganic and physical you have to select a few topics and then other topics you can you know uh, you can just learn the formulas for example in physical chemistry and then go for the exam so earlier you could have solved these kind of questions okay like you just read some kinetic formula some formulas for you know steady st like your um, enzyme catalysis uh, for my maintain equation uh, you know kind of read a formula for 1d box 2d box something like that and just go ahead in the exam and attempt it without actually analyzing that how do you have to use those formulas because the equation would like the values will be given to you just put it in the formulas and you'll get the answer but this time it was not like that you had to get into the concept a bit as well like if you just go through the formulas maybe you would not be able to interpret the question the formula would have to be applied over here but you know it was twisted in such a way that you cannot directly apply the formula some intrinsic knowledge was required from that particular field as well okay so that particular thing did not work over here so i think those who were really into the concepts they could have done well but don't get me wrong over here some students who actually go through the tricks and, and you know go to the exam it was just that this exam was not like that 
if you see a few earlier exams where the cutoff has gone high in those examinations you could have applied the tricks also trick, by applying the trick i mean you study some question some concepts in depth and for the rest of the questions you just go ahead with the formula so for those kind of examinations what used to happen was that student was easily able to answer his or her specialization and along with that because one had done the formulas also they could have applied the formula and gained more marks than someone who was just focusing on the concepts so this examination was definitely for the for the ones who uh, were good at concepts and i feel this would be the trend because like i said that earlier this was uh, this information or this knowledge was available only to a few handful of students but now due to dig digitalization it's ev available to everyone right so um, even if now you know the question do come in which you can apply those tricks since it is available to the masses what will happen the, the earlier benefit that you were getting that would actually be abolished that benefit you would not get in anymore because everyone will know that trick so definitely i think now in the coming years uh, the exam would be more and more conceptual and comparatively i would say the trend would you know switch very very um, frequently because if you see just last five six examinations you will see that the kind of questions are very similar and then this time suddenly it was very different um, uh, like i said it is just uh, analysis uh, it is too soon to call out whether this would be the trend or not uh, we will have to see another couple of examinations at least two more examinations to see whether that trend is being followed or not uh, but i feel that you know looking at the other exams also i feel that this is the way forward so let me know what you think about it and uh, what i would now suggest is like it's always better than you know than preparing for the last couple of months and only focusing on the important topics and tricks i think now it makes much more sense to really uh, get into the topic and you know study for about 5 to 6 months before you know attempting the examination and yeah that's all i wanted to talk about let me know what your perspectives are uh, it, i just wanted to discuss this out because this was something that was bre brewing inside me so i thought it's 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 uh, it's good to discuss right and uh, yeah that's about it uh, if you like this video and if you like the analysis please give me a thumbs up if you don't always uh, i'm well i welcome critical comments and i'll be happy to discuss it out and in case you like the content that i make uh, please do not forget to subscribe to the channel uh, you can just think of it as a way to motivate me right to make more videos of course thank you hey guys so i'm a verified educator on an academy and along with that i am also available on the unacademy plus platform where i am taking live classes along with other educators so in case you are interested in attending the live classes you can subscribe to the unacademy plus platform using my referral code that is SETHI SETI and that will give you 10% discount all right and in case you are not interested in attending the live classes you can watch the free courses that are available on the unacademy for that all you need to do is go to the unacademy website or download the unacademy learning app and search my name over there that is ace haiti once you do that you will get the access to all the free courses that are available on the unacademy platform all right